Hello lover friends, in level 12.8 we can now create a collection from JSON, force create many in a relationship and enable automatic eagle which is just so cool. Let's go. First, here's the new collection method I told you. Well, coding, we often have to deal with data in JSON. Like here, for example, I have here some users, my team members here in JSON. And if I want to work with this in PHP, um, I can just um, decode this. So let's say my team members here, and I use the JSON decode method, which you all already know. And this will give me back an array here, which you can see. Yeah. And of course, if I want to get a collection level, which we often want to do because they are so great to work with. Let's just wrap this in a collection. And now I have my collection with the free items, free arrays, which we have in there. Okay, so far so good, nothing new, but we have something new which we can do. So let's get rid of this. And on the collection class here, I can use now from JSON here and directly use JSON, what we have already, and this now works as well. So from JSON is a new method that you can now use on the collection class, which is very handy if you just want to provide the JSON and you don't want to decode it first. Thank you, Italo. Next, you can now force create models on a relationship. In this example, we are having posts and we have comments. So every post can have different comments. And here we have a bunch of comments which we want to import. So how are we going to do this? We are first getting the post. In this case, we're just getting, I guess, just the first one here, which makes sense here. And then on the post, we have a relationship to the comments. And then we also have a create many method where we can just provide the comment and just import this like that. But we have an issue here. Content, um, which is one of the fields of our comments, is not um, was not set to the fillable property which we're using here which in this case sucks because here now we can't use it like this hmm so what can we do we can get rid of the fillable property which some of you might do but if you already have it and want to keep it normally what you also can do we have a force create method to create a single entry and bypass mass assignment but we don't have this yet here so something else which we can do. So we are creating a collection for our comments and then we are looping through all of them with the each method. And for each comment, what do we want to do? We want to call the comments relationship on the post. And for single items, we have this force create method. And then we can just provide the comments. And here maybe let's get back our comments for this post. And here we get back now um, these comments. We can see we have three of them and all of the ones which we had up here are now added to our post, which is great, but yeah, the syntax, yeah, it's not so good. And since we already had this force create method for single items, it would also be nice to have this for multiple ones. And this is what we can use now because we have this now in level. So post, comments exactly how you would imagine it force create many and we can just provide all of our comments here and you can see this is working as well now we got three because we already added three of them but yeah this is working now and next to this we also have the quiet version on this quietly so that we um, don't fire any events so force create many and force create many quietly uh, two new methods that you can use while dealing with relationships. Thank you, Philip. And last, this one is special. Automatic eagle loading. Here's all what you need to know. All right, so we're talking about queries, querying your database, we're talking about loops, and we're talking about the typical n plus one issue. So we're getting all the users here, and then we're looping through all the users, and then we're trying to getting the post for all the users. I'm not returning anything, we're just interested in the query, which we can see here in Tinkerwell. So first we're making here a request. A query, select all the users here. This is this one here. And then now select everything from posts where the user ID is one. So it's the first iteration of the loop. 
And then we also got another one for the second one where the user is now um, with the i2 and so on. You can see this goes on and on. And this is the typical M plus one issue. Um, you're thinking you're just making this loop here and you're just getting a kind of property here on the user, but this is the relationship. This will end up inside a query and you will end up with a lot of issues, which is not what we want. And of course, this will get even worse when we do, for example, for a user post as dollar post. And then we have a loop inside a loop. And then inside here, we're going to call the comments of the post. Let's refresh. And you can see we have now way more queries than before because, yeah, we have another loop here. And this is not what we want. So what we can do about this, we can do eager loading. So instead of using all, we can say we want the users with post, for example. And then we'll just say, give me all of them. And if you run this now, you can see we're first getting all the users as always. Then we're getting all the posts. We're getting all of them already in one go, which is good. But now what about the comments? You can see we have here. Uh, query to get all the comments with the post ID 1 and another one with post ID 2 and 3. So this is not working yet. We can also do this with eager loading by adding here um, dot and comments, I believe. Let's give this a try. We're getting all the posts and now we should also get all the comments which we do down here. So this is also way better and um, way less queries. But now there is a different approach which, can, which we can use, which is automatic eager loading. So let me show you. Again, I get rid of not all of this, but just using all here to get the users. We still have the issue with all the queries. And what we can now is we can define this in a service provider. So here in my app service provider, in this case, I'm going to call on the model eloquent class. We already have it here. Automatically either load relationships. And now let's take a look what happens now. We don't have any eager loading here. We're just getting all of them, but still when we run this, you can see we only have the queries where we include all the posts and another one for all the comments. How cool is this? So yeah, if you forget this, which sometimes happens, um, eager loading especially, you can just set this in the service provider again by just calling this here and this will now work automatically for you as long as you stick to the level convention in terms of naming. But yeah, think about this as a safety guard for you to make sure that you don't run into M plus one issues without noticing it. Okay, and here's one more thing. Currently we're setting this globally, but you can also set this on a given users collection like we have here. I can also call with relationship auto loading. Let's just get rid of this. So we're just using it here on the users. And it should still work. Yes, first query, second, and the third one. So it's still working. So you can also do this here automatically on the fly dynamically with the with relationship auto loading method. But yeah, we have now this automatic eager logging functionality in the framework, just by adding this one call to your app service provider and you are good to go, or you can set it on the fly like we do it here. But yeah, this is just so good. Thank you, Sari. That's it for this week. Thank you all for your contributions. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you the next time. Bye.